Hey, good morning, Jeffrey Howells Carpet Cleaning. We're out in uh, Gladstone, Milwaukee this morning. Um, out at a home that I uh, clean every, you know, pretty much quarterly, I guess. Um, kind of coming through here, show you what's going on. There is, they do have a bit of, of traffic because they, they do meetings here in this house. So, I mean, it's never terribly bad because they keep up on it very, very well. So, um, get some furniture movers and move that guy around and see what we can do there. Obviously, you can see my hoses in here. So, um, what I do for, you know, quarterly, uh, routine maintenance cleaning is that I'll, like, once a year I'll do a good steam cleaning just to kind of set a baseline and know what condition the carpets are actually in and then I'll do a routine um, encapsulation with our encapsulation or our CRB machine which does as you can tell these carpets are in really good condition so that machine works extremely well um, where we're at right now head upstairs it's a uh, four bedrooms upstairs however one of the kids didn't get the memo and left their door locked so I'm not won't be able to get in there but we've got a uh, one master bedroom bedroom number two bedroom number three and of course bedroom number four we can't get into and then we have this this little little hallway and this is about a typical stairway you know the stairs go around the corner there and up here so it's about the average number of steps anyways gonna do a, a quick pre-vacuum with our, our Kirby vacuum we just stuck a new bag in it um, from the previous job the bag was absolutely stuffed so that needed to be changed out um, keep you up to date as we move along here and show you some awesome results. Jeffrey, Howell's Carpet Cleaning, have an awesome day and I hope you enjoy today's video. We are in the process of making up some more of our uh, juice here to do our clean in. What we are using is this Traffic Clean by ProChem. Um, I'm just using up the rest of this bottle. We pretty much got exactly enough to fill up our two gallon bottle with this, this product. Um, as you can see, okay, this stuff is about 30 bucks a gallon, but it dilutes down and makes up to about 33 gallons of this ready to use solution. Um, pretty good, and I would say the average job uses between one and two of our uh, units that we make up and each unit is about two gallons so that's roughly what are we looking at for one of these we're getting maybe about 15 10 or 15, 10 to 15 uh, cleans or uh, jobs done with one of these gallons so uh, you do the math you know it works out pretty good so each job we're probably using between five and ten dollars worth of uh, cleaning product and it varies depending on whether we're doing hot water extraction or uh, encapsulation encapsulation solution is a little bit more expensive and then if we add other products to it to help boost this like a degreaser or something a little extra to give it a little more umph um, of course, that affects our cost per unit as well. So, I um, hope this is a little bit of an educational video as well as a demonstration of what we're doing today. All right, we've got the entire upstairs area all pre vacuumed. So, what we're going to do is we are going to go back over with this carpet rake to uh, agitate our cleaning solution into the, all the fibers. So, again, it's the uh, three bedrooms up here in the hallway. We'll go ahead and agitate that in. And as it is uh, sitting and dwelling and eating and emulsifying all the, the cool stuff, nasties that we're going to be pulling out of the carpeting, um, we're going to be uh, setting up the rest of our truck 
And when we come back here in just a moment, we're going to begin our steam cleaning process. Looking out the window there, you can see the truck. You can probably hear the sound of the motor running. We uh, got our hose running outside. In through the front door, up the stairs, into the bedroom here. You can hear the, the hose suction going. So we're just going to give it a, a couple minutes to uh, get our water up to 220 degrees, which is the ideal uh, temperature for steam cleaning because it's hot enough to, uh, to disinfect and clean thoroughly. But um, when you start pushing 230 degrees, you start actually damaging uh, the carpet fibers. Um, the hot temperatures on the carpeting actually causes the carpeting to start coming apart um, and it starts to lose its tight knit. So if you have a tight knit carpeting, those are extremely expensive, but you get a, a, a carpet cleaner in there that is boasting about its 250 or 260 degree water. Uh, that carpeting is probably going to start coming undone or at least a whole bunch of fibers are going to be stripped off that carpeting during the, the carpet cleaning process and it may uh, lose a bit of its fluffy texture especially if you like walking around the carpeting on your bare feet it just won't have the same feel to it because a lot of that fluff just got stripped off with hot water so uh, I, some people may uh, uh, debate me about that um, but that's the reason why in the uh, II or the uh, whatever the carpet cleaning institution jargon is um, they tell you not to exceed 230 degrees for that exact purpose and I am IIRC or IICRC that's what it is IICRC certified and um, pretty well versed in what their uh, what what their what they say and what they recommend and that is the reason why they recommend that the carpeting be or the temperature of the water be left around 225 230 degrees so you're not damaging anything so uh, consider that the next time you have your carpets cleaning carpets cleaned um, it'd be a good idea to ask the technician who is cleaning your carpets exactly what temperature the water is that they're using to clean your carpets because they very well could be unknowingly damaging your carpets and if you're in the dark about that um, you don't know that your carpets are being damaged so uh, that's a good thing for the consumer to know as well as the technician should know that we have completed the hot water extraction all throughout the upper area of the house and now we are taking our carpet rake again and we're going over the carpeting get the nap all standing in an upright position this also helps increase the dry time required to dry the carpeting or I should say decreases the dry time um, real quick here we went down the hallway we did the the two rooms again none of, neither of these have been uh, have been raked out yet but we'll get it looking really really sweet we'll erase all of our footprints then all we've got left, the downstairs area and the stairways here, and keep you in the loop as we move along. All right, first things first. Uh, I emptied out our truck, got everything prepped. Um, I pre-sprayed these area rugs. This area rug here, agitated it with our our carpet rake, which is behind me, and then uh. Do the same to this area rug here so with the weather being extremely beautiful I'll probably clean these guys up and maybe put one of them out here on the back deck just to get it out of the way and to dry and then I'll figure out what to do with the other one and then it'll be a process of kind of sliding and moving furniture around um, the couches there mainly there's two couches and this uh, dining room table to uh, pre-treat and clean the uh, rest of the carpeting in this place and then we just have the stairway to do and we will be finishing up 
So I've decided to do about half of this space. Um, basically from here on out all the way over. I picked up the air rug and decided just to throw it on top instead of hauling it outside. As you can see, we're going to let this dwell. Um, we're going to end up doing the same thing to this space as well. Um, on the stairs, I don't know if this is paint. No, it's not. Okay. I'm just going to head out to the truck and kind of take a quick peek around to see if I needed anything extra from the truck. But looks like we're good. So what we're going to do, give us a minute to dwell. Then we'll use the hot water extraction and extract that half. Pre-treat this area. We'll probably uh, do that rug. Then we'll probably just lay it down over here on this side to get it out of the way. Move some furniture around and uh, we'll get this side all cleaned up.